Today we are doing our fall trends video and that's the long awaited video because fall is a season that is transitional. The temperature fluctuates between warm and cold and so we're always seeing new trends and we're also super excited because we're doing a collaboration with one of our favorite YouTubers, Amy. Hi everyone, I'm Amy and I'm so 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 excited to be working with Chictopia on this video. Over on my channel you can find an outfit or a fall lookbook video and I'm so excited. I will see you guys over there. Please check out her link below. Um, she is an LA based, super talented, young, badass YouTuber. Today we're talking about eight trends we're seeing. The first one being crop turtleneck, extra long sleeves, schoolgirl jumpers, puffer jackets, tinsel, shades of tan, mini bags, and footwear with fur. So let's start with crop turtlenecks. So what do you think about when you think crop turtlenecks? Well, when I think of turtlenecks, mm -hmm. I think of Audrey Hepburn. Yeah, or Annie Hall, yeah. the intellectuals. Yeah, and so the crop kind of makes it more modern and hip and more free-spirited to me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because when you think about, because turtleneck really started in the 50s or so. 50s, 60s. Yeah, when the beatniks, who are essentially these like poet, like these intellectuals that would gather and like make poems, but they're also like anti-mainstream intellectuals where they were about anti-materialism. So they wore turtlenecks because they're, they represent like the informal crowd because prior to that, all the intellectuals came from well-off families. Right. They wore where you're suits. wearing suits, so yeah, 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 the rebellion against that. Yeah, and then crop tops uh, were really popular with the dancers, mm -hmm. and uh, they represent something that's easy for movement because they don't like if you're like dancing, um, right? You know, you're, you want it's not your belly as restrictive. To, yeah, exactly. So people associate that with like I think American Apparel maybe in the '80s with mm -hmm. like leggings. I can and, see that. Yeah, crop turtlenecks is sort of a new trend that's emerging this year. So I guess you can argue that it's um, a representative of the subculture intellectual who is anti-mainstream but also likes to move around. And dance. So the <laughs> anti-nerd that is still a nerd. Right. That's who we are. Extra long sleeves. So it's interesting I'm seeing this trend because that's actually a trend, oh, not necessarily a trend, but that is actually the type of clothing uh, Chinese women wore mm. in the 1700s and 1800s. Um, it's, it's you know, for women, they actually had extra long sleeves, actually for men too. Uh, and what they did was they actually, their pockets was actually inside their sleeves. So when they, ah. so when they saw someone, you know, they did the whole like, hello. And then when they wanted to pay for something, they'll be like, wait. <laughs> Other than that, um, you know, we've been seeing Celine. Um, and Stella McCartney mm -hmm. doing showing that in the runway, um, and also I think it also goes in this whole like romanticism, non-body restriction mm -hmm. trend that we're seeing. So uh, that is a fun trend to try, and yeah. also makes me feel nostalgic towards back to my roots. <laughs> puffer jackets. So puffer jacket was invented. It's interesting how we think about what drives fashion. Uh, mm -hmm. So puffer jacket was. Uh, invented in the 1930s by Eddie Bauer, who was an avid mountaineer. He mm -hmm. really liked going camping and going uh, hiking by himself, going to the mountains. And then he almost died one day um, as the sun was setting and it was getting really cold and he felt like he was getting hypothermia and his wool jacket just couldn't keep him warm. Mm -hmm. And it was kind of wet too. So when he finally survived that experience, he decided that he wanted to invent jackets that were suitable for hiking and mountaineering. So he invented the puffer jacket, which is lightweight so that if you like hiked a lot, it wasn't so heavy mm -hmm. and also somewhat water repellent. So that if it got wet, uh, you know, it dries quickly. It dries quickly. Yeah. So uh, the puffer jacket is actually coming back into style in uh, high fashion this year, and paired with evening wear. Mm -hmm. And uh, and as we know, like the real fashionistas, that as we know, more influencers or street style bloggers are driving fashion. And if you really think about it, street style bloggers in the winter are doing some of the most unglamorous jobs. They're running around beautiful cities like Paris, like New York, but they're running around carrying their huge cameras like from meeting to meeting, place to place, and they're probably just like mountaineering <laughs> and they wanna wear a puffer jacket and they wanna go to a place where they can like take off something and be amazing. But they're wearing their like evening gowns underneath. Exactly. <laughs> so what's next? Shades of tan? Shades of tan. So shades of tan dates back to, well the word tan came from uh, tanning of leather, that color that it gets. Oh. Yeah, it was actually in the 1500s or so. Um, but since then, I, I believe like Jill Sander is one of the first uh, designers that use that color uh, um, ubiquitously because it's associated with minimalism, mm. and that's also associated with recently, um, you know, there's still remnants of normal trend. 
So uh, camel coats, trench coats are back in that are shades of tan. Mm -hmm. I think traditionally tan is, the shades of tan is viewed as a classic, whereas I right. think this particular season, depending on how you're paired, is really viewed as an overall trend of minimalism. Mm -hmm. Tinsel! Yeah, so that is an exciting trend because when you see it, it reminds you of holidays, looking forward yes, to it. That's right. At the Fall same time. into the holidays. Yep, and in the last Fall Fashion Week, tinsel was made popular by Alexander McQueen, Dolce & Gabbana, Fendi. Uh, they all use tinsel on the runway. Yep. And now we're seeing it uh, at stores, hip stores like ASOS, uh, carrying tinsel wear. Nice yeah. party dress. Crazy tinsel dress, can yeah. you believe? <laughs> I don't know, it's just kind of fun. It is. Another trend we're talking about is schoolgirl jumpers. Uh, so they're typically made of plaid and they were worn by Catholic schoolgirls. But they're coming back into uh, season, coming back into season. And actually, I don't know if people knew this, but for plaid jumpers, they didn't choose uh, plaid as a pattern or a color because they were associated with Scotland, but it was mostly because plaid is like a pattern that hides dirt very well. Which is very true. Yes. <laughs> so this season, a lot more Catholic schoolgirl inspired jumpers are hitting the stores. Uh, it's a sign of youth, uh, continues learning. Yeah, and then also, I guess, in the transition of when um, women are wearing more pants and trousers and that kind of trend, that this is sort of a transition into that with these jumper style school girl jumpers. Yes. Footwear with fur. This is really interesting because the Gucci mule was made mm -hmm. really popular by bloggers. But you know, fur has been used in footwear starting where cavemen use fur to keep your feet Again, warm. a functional thing. That's right. <laughs> but I guess Pairing it with mule isn't necessarily no. because they're going to have the heel. <laughs> That's where the fashion, fashion comes in. Exactly. Yeah. But we're seeing more and more fur decorating footwear to attract a little bit more attention and yeah. then to just have that little bit of bling. Mini bags. Mini bags. So in the last, I would say, 10 years, bags were getting bigger and bigger with oversized everything. But in the most recent year or two, there's been a trend of Kalmari method, which is the active art of declutter. I am cluttering. All about that. <laughs> so the smaller bags are in, Yay, uh, really forcing bags. you to think about the essentials that you want to carry along every day. And uh, we're seeing that trend across the runway with uh, Celine, with uh, YSL. And uh, we're excited to get our mini bags and think about what are the most important things in our lives. That's very deep. Yes, that's what I am. <laughs> So that concludes our fall trends video. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to check out Amy's video link below. She is amazing and she'll show you new looks uh, with a fresh young take. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.